I'm so excited to jump in and talk to you about some great destinations all throughout the United States that you can travel to this year. Now, folks, before we dive in, I just want to get a little uh, housekeeping uh, right off the bat. Number one, you can type any questions at all that you may have into the questions box on the side of the GoToWebinar platform. I will answer Q, uh, do it and do a Q&A at the end of the presentation. However, if you are asking in terms of pricing or scheduling, availability, or in regards to a reservation you have that you need adjusted, please reference the phone number that you will see on the lower area of the slide. Give a call in and talk to an Amtrak Vacations representative. Now, what will we cover today? Destinations best visited by train, and of course, popular destinations that are booking now in 2021 that you can consider for your next rail vacation. Routing your, your vacation from your local hometown, we'll show a map on that in a moment. And of course, we'll cover how Amtrak is maintaining a safe environment with everything that is going on uh, with right now. And there are two brands here that are worth uh, indicating for you to know. Of course, Amtrak Vacations being the host of the webinar today. And then our other sister brand here, Railbookers. Now, what do we do? Well, of course, we are a rail vacation company sending you on great holidays all throughout the United States by way of Amtrak with the scenic, leisurely experience of riding on the train to the destinations and then bundling the hotels and the sightseeing and the attractions all together as a part of a one-stop shop for your holiday for Amtrak vacations and then here in the United States and then internationally for Europe, Australia, India, Canada, and the rest of the world for rail bookers. And again, combining the leisurely and scenic rail experience with the hotels and sightseeing and all of the above for the rest of the world. So that is Amtrak Vacations and there is rail bookers. Simple as that. Now, where can you travel to by train and where can you depart from? Well, everywhere on this map, you're seeing a star. That's a destination where Amtrak Vacations has a package that it goes to. And again, we incorporate the hotels, the sightseeing, and the attractions all bundled together with the rail travel experience. Everywhere you're seeing a red line on the map, that's a route that Amtrak travels on that can connect you to these wonderful destinations. And everywhere on the map that you're seeing a little white dot, that indicates a train station that Amtrak can travel through throughout the United States. In fact, folks, there are over 500 different stations for you to depart from. And that's important to know because that makes it easy for you to go from a local station all throughout the United States. Whether you want to go from Hastings, Nebraska, or uh, go from Taylor, Texas, heading from Route 128 in the Boston area, or even going from you know Medford, Oregon, we can get you starting and even going round trip to end back at any local station. And again, there are over 500 different stations to travel through in the Amtrak system. And it's important to note, folks, that you can book from last minute, from today, up to 2023. So you can book close in if you start looking to travel you know, the, in the next few weeks, month, next month or two, a little bit of last minute travel as the world starts opening up and you're looking to go on an exciting destination this spring, this summer, or even looking to early this fall or later on in 2021. But you could also be looking for a few years in advance. We can get you booked from today to up to 2023. Simple as that. 
And there are several reasons why travelers love traveling and going through Amtrak vacations. Number one, right front and center, we like to highlight again, we can book for travel for the next couple of weeks, next couple of months, next couple of years. We have maximum flexibility, allowing you to travel to any destination practically on any date for any length of time you're looking to travel. Simply put, as long as the train is going there and as long as we have availability at the destination to put you in, we can send you there. And when you're working over the phone with one of our Amtrak Vacations consultants, you are talking to a rail expert, someone who has traveled by these train systems. They know how to book them. They know how to put these itineraries and these holidays and these agendas together. So you're working with someone who has an expert knowledge of what they are sending you to do. They can answer your questions. They can cover your concerns, what have you. Now, across our brands, Amtrak Vacations and Railbookers, we have the largest rail vacation selection of anyone in the world. Whether it be multi-destinational journeys here in the United States, for instance, combining multiple cities together, San Francisco, Portland, Oregon, and Seattle, Washington, to multi-country journeys, there are Railbookers brand that can do travel throughout Europe and the world. More luxury or high-end ex experiences, and even extending itineraries pre or post upcoming cruises later on this year and next year. And of course, no rail trip is too complicated for us. We make it simple and easy for you. And it's important to note that all of our rail vacations are customizable, including starting and ending, also known as going round trip, from your local hometown station. Now, folks, does anyone want to see if they can guess or remember and answer by typing into the questions box on the side of the GoToWebinar panel how many different Amtrak stations there are to travel through? Does anybody remember how many I mentioned there are throughout the Amtrak rail system? How many stations? All right. Well, Margaret got right off to it, and Cindy, too. 500 or over 500. So, Margaret and Cindy, you were the first ones to respond. Lickety split. Yes, there are over 500 different stations to travel out throughout the USA to start and end the trip. Now, for ex and we can customize trips to not just start at your local hometown, but go even deeper, such as adding on a destination to a package. For example, I just mentioned a hypothetical itinerary that did San Francisco, Portland, Oregon, and Seattle. Well, imagine you want to do a trip like that, but you want to start in Los Angeles, do a stay in Los Angeles, and then take a train trip up to San Francisco and north up into the Pacific, Pacific Northwest. All you have to do is tell us you want to do that, and we could add the Los Angeles component and the train trip to the package. And then also that you might want to add some sightseeing so we can add additional sightseeing experiences in these destinations. For example, perhaps you want to do a trip out to Yosemite National Park by way of San Francisco when you're doing this journey. So we take the Yosemite a day trip, plop it onto the package, and boom, there it is. And then, of course, the wonderful opportunity to upgrade to cabins to sleeping accommodations on board the train. Folks, I will go over towards the end of the presentation of what the cabins look like and some of the benefits of booking them for your next rail travel. And I'm excited to announce that it's back, the Pick Your Perk sale event. Yes, folks, I mentioned sale event, where you can save off the total cost of the package when you upgrade on your itinerary. So, for example, you're talking over the phone with an Amtrak vacations vacation consultant, and you let them know that you want to upgrade to sleeping accommodations, to one of the cabins on board the train. But not only that you want to upgrade to one of the cabins for your travel, 
but also you would like to upgrade your hotel from, say, a three-star hotel to a four- or five-star property, or that you want to upgrade to the sleeper cabins on board the train and add an extra night to that package to do three nights in Los Angeles instead of a package that does two nights. Or as I mentioned, adding extra activities to the itinerary. From there, depending on the length of your stay, we can help you save $300, $400, and even potentially $500 off per couple on your next journey. Simple as that. Now, as we dive in to talk about some of these exciting places, let me briefly explain what I, what I mean when I say our, our popular getaways. A getaway with Amtrak Vacations tends to be a two or three or four night packaged uh, stay or holiday or vacation at a destination with the hotel, sightseeing, and attractions all bundled together. So you're getting away, it's a getaway. Simple as that. Then we would add the train from your local hometown station or one of the major hubs and as Margaret and Cindy both got right off the bat, as I mentioned, there are over 500 different stations to choose from. So there's lots of places that you can, quote unquote, get away. And these next destinations are some of our most popular trips, popular destinations, and itineraries. So as I jump into our most popular destination, let me ask the question and feel free to respond. And on the last webinar, I got responses in terms of I am's, yeses, woohoos, I got a hallelujah. Who here is ready to step off the train and do some physical and social distancing in the open spaces of the United States National Parks? Feel free to respond. Cindy just responded, heck yeah, right into the questions box. I agree with you, Cindy, 100%. And we're getting some, uh, uh, Mitzi said, absolutely. We're getting some yeses in all caps, Mark. Uh, uh, and Cindy, uh, <laughs> Christina said, yes, with a bunch of A's, a bunch of S's. Fiza said, me, yes. Cindy actually uh, responded saying she just got back from the Grand Canyon. I hope you had a good time. That is excellent. Well, thank you, folks, and continue to be as responsive as we start talking about some of our popular getaways, such as Glacier National Park, which as I just mentioned, happens to be Amtrak Vacation's number one selling destination. That might be a little surprising to people. Glacier Park is Amtrak Vacation's top selling destination. Yes, it is. The reason for that is that the train, the Empire Builder, drives right up to the door of the eastern end of the park. Fun fact, from the door of the Glacier Park Amtrak station to the door of the Glacier Park Lodge, that's where people that you would stay, it's only 209 steps door to door. So we make it real simple and easy. By the way, the Empire Builder has three major train stations that it departs from, on a, from Chicago, Seattle, or Portland, and of course a handful of other stations to go through. Now, as I mentioned, the Glacier Park getaway, just as any getaway, includes several nights hotel accommodations, and it includes sightseeing at the destination as well, because, of course, you want to get out and explore. In this case, we include the very scenic, very serene Two Medicine Valley boat cruise. That's a 45-minute a, a to an hour-long cruise out onto Two Medicine Valley Lake as well as the Big Sky Circle Tour is done throughout Glacier National Park. Those are done on those historic open-top red buses. You can see that indicated in the photo there. So imagine folks traveling all throughout the park on an open-top bus, going, over the hit, going to the Sun Road, traveling in this open-air area. Look at the mountains that you'll be traveling through. Christina responded, what? With a bunch of exclamation points and question marks. Yes, look how beautiful it is. And the Big Sky Circle Tour is an all-encompassing tour of the park. And that is to, included within the stay for three nights at the Glacier Park Lodge. Now, as I mentioned, we are in the midst of the Pick Your Park sale event. That means when you upgrade or add on to the package, 
it helps you towards saving off the total top of the package. That includes something you may want to acquire with your Amtrak Vacations Consultant. Breakfast, daily breakfast can be included within your Glacier Park stay. Now, folks, with Glacier Park, it is more of a quiet area of the country. Uh, the Glacier Park Lodge is the major lodge in the area, and so most of what is inclusive in the park is built around the lodge itself, including the areas to get breakfast in before your sightseeing on the boat cruise, before your sightseeing on the Big Sky Circle Tour. So why don't you ask your Amtrak Vacations booking consultant about adding a breakfast package to your holiday so you already have your breakfast vouchers, they're already included within the cost, and that way it's all taken care of. And when doing so, again, because we're in the pick your perk, adding this to the package might help you save because for your upgrade, you will then save off the total cost from that upgrade. And of course, you can enjoy breakfast overlooking this beautiful scenery out in the park. Sound good? I hope so. And this is a nice, simple map to show you how, and the highlights to show you what is included. Folks, whenever you see a map with a bubble in it, whether it be on AmtrakVacations.com, in a physical brochure, in an electronic email version of the brochure, wherever you see a bubble with a number in, on a map, that indicates the amount of overnights at a destination. Simply put, three nights at the Glacier Park Lodge. Next up, we have the Grand Tetons and Yellowstone Rail Journey. So this is a great example of an itinerary that includes a rail journey plus not one but two national parks all bundled together. Now, folks, on the, the last slide, you saw the map of the Glacier Park getaway, but it didn't indicate where the train was departing from. That's because on a getaway such as that, we would add the train from your local station through a hub station if you were departing from, say, Chicago or Seattle or wherever it may be. With this itinerary, you can see the Grand Tetons and Yellowstone Rail Journey starts in Chicago. It heads out into Salt Lake City, which is the jumping off point to head up into the Grand Tetons and Yellowstone National Parks. We do that by way of a car rental for you to do a self-drive up through these areas. And that includes a stay in Jackson Hole, built in, so we include a, two, uh, a night stay in Jackson Hole, with a, full, uh, a, a fully guided tour of the Grand Tetons National Park. It's actually a morning tour that heads out from Jackson Hole to visit the park actually around 6 or 7 in the morning. That sounds a little early, I'm sure, for some folks that are saying, wait a second, this is supposed to be a vacation. What do you mean, Jarrett, 6 or 7 in the morning? And by the way, Christina's response went from what when talking about Glacier to wow when talking about Grand Tetons. The reason that this package heads out so early in the morning is that it goes out into the Tetons Earlier in the day, when it's quiet, when there is not nearly as many tourists and people crowding the area, and so it gives you a full morning to explore the park, but also a better opportunity to snap photos and to get closer and have a better experience with the wildlife in the park before the, uh, the area gets too crowded. Also, the tour itself ends roughly around lunchtime dropping you back in Jackson Hole to give you enough time to then pick up your rental car again and drive on up into Yellowstone National Park, America's first established national park, where you will have two nights in the park with plenty of time to explore at your leisure. As I mentioned, we're going to keep highlighting some of the opportunities for you to upgrade and to customize your trips, especially during this Pick Your Perk event. And so you may want to inquire on an itinerary such as this 
about upgrading to the Lake Yellowstone Hotel, which is an absolutely beautiful property in the midst of Yellowstone National Park. I haven't stayed there, but I have visited there when visiting through Yellowstone, and the area is incredible. The lodge itself, you walk in, and you're immediately hit right in the nostrils with a deep smell of coffee and cookies right in the bakery, uh, in the coffee shop on the lower level of the lodge. Now, most national park lodges throughout the United States in general, they're a little bit more quaint and rustic, I guess would be the term. Not the Lake Yellowstone Hotel. That is a definitely a four-star lodge right in the middle of the park. It overlooks the expansive Lake Yellowstone, which pretty much looks like an ocean to begin with. Then you walk into this beautiful lodge um, with these giant, um, you know, uh, giant hearth, uh, white marble floors, nice smell of coffee and cookies wafting around the area. It is quite the experience. So again, during the pick your perk oppor uh, sale opportunity, definitely worth inquiring about the availability at the Lake Yellowstone Hotel. So on the last package, folks, I explained that everywhere on a map you see a bubble with a number in it. That indicates the amount of overnights at a destination at a lodge. So folks, to cover this map, everywhere you see a red arrow on this map or any of our other maps with a number in it, that indicates the amount of overnights on board the train. In this case, one overnight is indicated from Chicago traveling on the California Zephyr, which is Amtrak's most scenic rail route, traveling through the Colorado Rockies during the day, eventually ending in Salt Lake City to pick up the rental car as the jumping off point to head up into Jackson Hole, the Tetons, and Yellowstone for the itinerary. Pretty straightforward, simple as that. Next up on our most popular getaways, for 2021 is the New Orleans ultimate getaway. New Orleans, the city that care forgot, the Crescent City, one of my favorite places to venture to. The New Orleans ultimate getaway has been year over year one of our most popular getaways since I've been with Amtrak Vacations, which is going on about a decade now. The reason for it is that with New Orleans, there's so much to experience, to immerse yourself in, whether it be the deep, rich history and culture of the city, of the region, whether it be wanting to go and have uh, time in the fun-loving areas uh, of the uh, French Quarter, particularly, particularly Bourbon Street, whether you want to enjoy the cuisine, the Cajun and Creole cuisine that makes New Orleans so special. And there's so many different opportunities to explore all around the area. Now with the New Orleans Ultimate Getaway, it includes a bunch of different forms of sightseeing. One piece of opportunity is your choice of either a Swamp and Bayou tour, an option for some of the local guided tours, or even options to include a ride on the Natchez Steamboat Paddle Wheel Cruise that'll travel out onto the waterfront. And we include the Jazz Cruise, so that goes out when the big jazz band is playing. But you could even ask to opt into a lunch cruise or a dinner cruise as an option in your package. And again, we give you plenty of options for sightseeing, whether it be the jazz lunch or dinner cruise, whether it be a guided tour out, outside of the city to one of the historic plantation homes and areas, whether it be the swamp and bayou tour or even the, cool, the, the, tour, the walking tours. There's about a dozen different walking tour options of New Orleans. You have your choice. And that also includes choice of hotels. In each of the major city destinations, for example, New Orleans, for example, Salt Lake City, uh, and et cetera, there, are, there is a menu of hotel options for you to choose from at three, four, and five star levels. And so our featured hotel of the day is the Hotel Monteleone, 
right in the heart of the French Quarter. Folks, this is definitely a step up into a full four-star French-style property in the French Quarter itself. In fact, the restaurant menus uh, have options for you in English and in French. And one of the main draws of the Monteleone, of course, is the Carousel Bar, which you can see right front and center, which uh, has itself a rotating carousel built into the bar um, now you can see all lit up. It's very popular for people to visit. So the Montoya, one of our more popular four-star properties, and of course our featured hotel for the presentation today. That, folks, is the New Orleans ultimate getaway. And one thing I do want to highlight is the New Orleans Pass, which we do include, which is basically like a little purple credit card which is good for you to choose additional sightseeing, good for, in this case, two days, whether you want to do a tour out to one of the plantation homes, if you want to do a tour of Mardi Gras World, which is the giant warehouse that holds the historical floats and beautiful, giant uh, boisterous floats that go in the Mardi Gras parades. Fun fact, you will actually get to visit where some of the crews, that's what they're called, they're the, the teams of folks that build the floats for the, the parades year over year. They actually start re, uh, or building new floats for the following Mardi Gras, the week after Mardi Gras ends. That's how much time and effort it takes to, uh, to plan everything out. You also will have an opportunity, should you want, to use the New Orleans Pass to visit the World War II Museum, which is an absolutely incredible and immersive museum. I visited there myself. It is very detailed. It's very patriotic. It definitely honors the sacrifice of, of the men and women who fought in World War II and, and served in World War II. Uh, the history is incredible. And there is two different branches of the museum, one for the European theater and one for the Asian, uh, Asian Pacific theater as well. It, it is incredible. So that, folks, is the New Orleans Ultimate Getaway which is a really great jumping off to the next package known as the river walk to the French Quarter. So the idea of this itinerary is essentially taking the New Orleans ultimate getaway, which includes a few nights stay in New Orleans with plenty of sightseeing, but adding a trip to San Antonio to start off the journey before taking the rail journey on the Sunset Limited into New Orleans. Now, when in San Antonio, we include a few night hotel stay there with a hop on, hop off sightseeing tour. That's what those tours, as its name would suggest, for you allowed to be hopping on and hopping off the tour at your leisure all around San Antonio. And we include admission to additional sightseeing beyond just the transportation around the city, such as the Buckhorn Saloon and Texas Ranger Museum such as the uh, Tower of the Americas Overlook Point uh, opportunity overlooking the city of San Antonio, and even a cruise right on the river of the river walk that you can see right front and center. And then after the few nights in San Antonio and exploring around San Antonio, we include the ride on the Sunset Limited out to New Orleans, for a few nights stay in New Orleans with all of the great sightseeing opportunities I just mentioned on the ultimate getaway. One thing of worth is mentioning is a brunch at the historical court of the two sisters restaurant in the heart of the French quarter. Having eaten there myself for brunch and for the dinner, it is quite the opportunity, uh, uh, great opportunity. And Really a great uh, added benefit to the package. The Court of the Two Sisters is a historical building right in the French Quarter. You walk right out into an open-air courtyard with a beautiful canopy of flowers and, and plants hanging from above. Beautiful lights glistening around. There's a jazz band playing. There is uh, gurgling and bubbling fountains in the heart of the courtyard. and. Um, 
Of course, we include brunch there where you can order uh, mimosas, champagne, wine, and there's plenty of great brunch options, breakfast and lunch uh, uh, servings, as well as highlights of the Creole and Cajun cuisine of the area. So that, folks, is the river walk to the French Quarter, and that includes a hop-on, hop-off pass with the riverboat cruise, admission to the Tower of the Americas, uh, so on and so forth. And then, of course, heading on the Sunset Limited into New Orleans for a several nights stay in New Orleans with sightseeing there as well. And then we have the San Francisco and Napa Valley getaway. So we've had multiple people ask earlier on in the presentation about packages that include the Napa Valley wine train. Uh, that was asked earlier on this presentation. It was asked in my last presentation I did earlier in the day. And so we can and do include it in some of our packages by way of San Francisco. And this is a great opportunity for it. Worth noting that, as I mentioned, we have a menu of hotel options at three, four, and five-star levels throughout the major U.S. cities like San Antonio, like New Orleans, like, uh, you know, as I mentioned earlier, in Salt Lake City, San Francisco being, of course, another place. And, of course, we have options three, four, and five-star hotels that show different levels of comfort but also depending on where you want to be throughout the city. We have hotels down at Fisherman's Wharf. We have hotels in other areas of San Francisco. If you want to be more higher up in the city, back towards more of the shopping area, Chinatown, the more theater district. And so wherever you would like to plant yourself, we have plenty of options for you. And yes way, we just got someone posting no way into the questions box. Well, the answer is yes way. Yes, we can do that for you. And this package includes stay not just in San Francisco, but also a visit and a stay out in Napa Valley. So it's not just a day trip. But you'll actually get to visit and stay in Napa Valley as well. And that includes a full day tour out onto the Napa Valley wine train, where we connect you from your stay in San Francisco out into Napa. Then you'll board the Napa Valley wine train through, for a ride throughout the wineries with a tasting included and an, a, 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 a several course lunch that you will enjoy, a gourmet lunch on the train itself. Very beautiful, very relaxing. And, of course, very enjoyable as you sit down um, and enjoy the cuisine on your ride. So this, folks, is the San Francisco and Napa Valley getaway. Include three nights in San Francisco, two nights in Napa Valley while in San Francisco. We include a hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour of the area, a dinner down on Fisherman's Wharf, and then a visit to Napa Valley and a ride through the wineries on the wine train itself. Now, why book now? Well, there's several reasons. Number one, spots are booking up, whether it be for the national parks, whether it be on board the trains for the cabins, which are booking up heavily in advance, whether it be last minute or even further in advance. And if you book now through June 30th, you have the maximum flexibility offer that allows you to make a date change or even cancel without incurring any change or cancellation fee for any new bookings made through the end of June. And packing for the train is simple and easy. You're allowed two carry-ons of up to 50 pounds each per person and two check bags of up to 50 pounds each per person. By the way, there's no cost to it. And luggage can be checked as close in as 45 minutes ahead of time. And in fact, we actually don't suggest getting to the station until about maybe about an hour and 10 minutes, maybe an hour ahead of time. It's not like the airlines where you have to get to the airport an hour and a half, two hours in years past when you're going internationally, three hours. You can get to the station 45 minutes to an hour ahead of time, 
and comfortably and easily board the train. Now, what is it like on board? Well, let me go over a couple of things. First off, I do want to cover some of the safety precautions that are being taken on board Amtrak and by Amtrak at large. Number one, cleaning of the stations and the trains inside and out. There it has been increased sanitation and cleaning daily, multiple times daily. In fact, as you travel throughout the stations, it's very likely you're going to be seeing this taking place. Now, masks are required to be worn by both Amtrak staff members as well as the passengers. When you are out in the open areas, masks are required to be worn. If you are in your cabins with their door shut, then you can remove your mask, but everybody is required to wear a mask. Also, facial coverings aren't just required, but also social distancing is required as well. And so Amtrak and Amtrak Vacations is, uh, ha is booking limited, more limited space. So it's not 100% capacity. It's a little bit more limited capacity that is allowing for the physical and social distancing. So this next photo I'm showing is what the coach accommodations are like, of course, Things are going to be a little bit more spaced out, and of course, everybody would normally be wearing a mask, but to show you what the seating is like in coach, the seats are big, plush, they require, recline at a 45 degree angle, there's plenty of leg room, uh, there's a tray table that will fold out and down, outlets to charge devices in, a nice big picture window, I like to refer to it as the window on the world. Because as the train is whizzing by, you can sit back in and relax and enjoy all the beautiful scenery. And it's Amtrak and Amtrak's vacations philosophy that whether you're traveling by way of the train, uh, by coach seating, or traveling by way of the train, by sleeper compartments of any level, everybody should be enjoying the scenery right from the window of the train. Simple as that. Now, if you are booked into a sleeper compartment, there are several added benefits, such as the priority boarding onto the train. You will get priority boarding, first boarding ahead of the general admission. So you can board right ahead of time, get right on the train, get comfortable. And of course, you have a dedicated car attendant that's dedicated to your uh, train car with your sleeper cabins in it. And they have multiple jobs to, to do as the train is traveling, such as knocking on your door and, uh, and letting you know ahead of time as you're about to zoom by some really scenic mountains or a great uh, cityscape or some historical areas. Of course, and of course, they'll also include um, providing the toiletries, bottled water, coffee, cleaning the areas, of course, and making sure everything is ship shape as well as safe and comfortable for the duration of the ride. And as I just mentioned, everyone is required to wear a facial covering on board the train. However, if you are in your private cabin with your privacy door shut, then you can remove your facial coverings. You do not have to wear your mask at that point. To show you what the cabins look like, First here is the sleeper roomette. So it's basically the step up from coach. It's its own private cabin with two big plush seats that face each other. As you can see by the diagram in the lower corner, everything folds down to bunk style sleeping. And there's a nice big picture window to enjoy all the sights out of. The seating itself is big, comfortable. You can relax in it. The car attendants will fold everything down at night to the bunk style of sleeping. And if you wanted to, say, take a nap, or as you can see the young lady doing here, relaxing and stretching out, reading, in this case, a book, or just enjoying the sights uh, during the day, the bedding can be folded out by the attendant. And here is a bigger example of the diagram with the bunk style. It fits up to two adults. That is the max amount in any sleeper. Two adults or one adult and one child. 
And you can see indicated on the slide, private restroom access in your car, private shower access in your car. So the, the restroom and showers are down the hall for those in the roomette cars. It's worth noting, again, that Amtrak is traveling not at full capacity, a little bit more restrictive of capacity. So it's allowing more physical and social distancing on the train. That also means there's less people using those restrooms and showers. But if you wanted your own private shower and bathroom within your cabin, the next step up is the sleeper bedroom, which has more space. It's a long, uh, has a long couch in it, given the bigger space, a nice big captain's chair, as we like to refer to it, a big picture window to enjoy all the sights out of, as per usual. But it has its own bathroom and shower within the cabin itself, and you can actually see the door to the restroom, to the shower, right in the cabin right there and everything fold down to bunk style sleeping and here you can see what the diagram looks like as er in a bigger version everything fold out to bunk style and as indicated the in-room restroom and in-room shower As always, for those traveling that may have uh, travel needs with a walker or wheelchair, we can accommodate those traveling and that such. On the lower level of the train, of course, with an ADA accessible sleeper, that sleeper runs the length of the cabin and can fit a walker or wheelchair in the cabin itself. It's still bunk style sleeping in the evening time. And of course, we would always encourage anyone traveling in such capacity, give us a call ASAP as they are limited in number on the train. So you, we want to get you booked onto them as soon as possible. So for any of these cabins, meals are factored into the cost. So the meals on the train are factored into the roomettes, the bedrooms, the ADA accessible room. And they can be provided right to your cabin itself, so you can enjoy your meals right in your own private sleeper. As space opens up, as the world starts to open up, we're going to start enjoying the meals back into the dining car, as we had in years past. So we're looking forward to that. And so as things open up, you will have your choice between enjoying the meals continuing in your dining car, uh, in your cabin rather, or in the dining car per your selection. So before we get into the question and answer period, a few webinars to invite you to on Tuesday, May 25th, top five destinations to visit by rail, and then on June 1st, Grand Canyon and Glacier National Park by rail. And of course, what destinations are you considering for your next vacation? We're always interested to find that out. You can just simply type your answer to that question into the box on the side of the GoToWebinar platform. And now I will go through and answer some of your questions you have for me. Now, I did put a caveat at the beginning of the presentation that I said if anyone has any quotes they are asking for in terms of pricing or scheduling, just give us a call and ask that with a rail expert. I can't answer that directly over a webinar, nor if you have any customer service questions in terms of a reservation already made that also will have to be done over the phone with an Amtrak vacations uh, guest relations consultant. I cannot do that for you over a webinar. Now for the rest of the questions, let me go through them right now. For someone traveling with a CPAP machine, there is outlets on the upper, uh, there uh, on the lower level of the cabin, but also on the upper bunk as well. So if you are trying to plug in a CPAP on the upper bunk, I don't believe that should be a difficulty. Let's see. Just going down. Um, so uh, do you go uh, through, uh, do past the Alamo in San Antonio, the hop on hop off tour? will bring you there. So there, the hop-on, hop-off tour hits the major attractions all throughout the cities, whether it's San Antonio, San Francisco, etc. Uh, and of course, that would be an option. Now, 
someone mentioned, I live in New York City. How do I join the tours? So since they do not depart from New York City, yes, they do. We can have our itinerary start from over 500 different stations, including, of course, such major cities as New York Penn Station or Chicago Union Station or or even local stations such as Bellevue, Washington, or you know Lafayette, Louisiana. We can add on the train and connection from your local station to start these itineraries. Or if you wanted to start, you know, say in one of the major uh, areas where the itineraries read that they list as they start, we can get you going from there. It's up to you. Now, as for special package pricing. For travelers who are solo and senior, that is double dipping on very specifics. The pricing for solo travelers, we can get you a price, and in particular, a senior solo traveler. Again, I can't give pricing over the webinar. Give us a call. Tell the Amtrak Vacations consultant where you'd like to go, when you'd like to go, where you're departing from, and we can get you the specific pricing. Now, as for larger families in terms of family sleepers or uh, cabins that can fit you know, large groups of family. There is a family sleeper that can fit two adults and two small children. When I say small children, they're going to have to fit in smaller bunk style beds. And we would advise, I mean, uh, kids that are maybe 10 and younger, it's up to you on their, you know, their size and their age, but it, it, the family sleepers fit two adults and two small kids. For any other configurations, give us a call. Chat with an Amtrak Vacations consultant on your specific request. Do we have any upcoming webinars that are for rail bookers for the international travel? Yes. If you go on railbookers.com, you will see some advertisements for the upcoming rail bookers presentations. Yes, we do. Um, and will we have any webinars on Canadian destinations that you will also find on railbookers.com? Yes. Do we do packages to Chicago and sightseeing and tours of Chicago? Yes, absolutely we do. In fact, Chicago is one of the major Amtrak stations. In fact, it is our hub station. Okay. So that looks like it was the last question that i just saw come through in real time we had many many people on the presentation so i apologize i can't get to every question uh let's see oh another person can we go to the everglades yes while the train itself does not go to the everglades we can include packages with train travel to florida and then add on trips to the everglades yes as a part of a day trip yes we do that so if there was any questions that didn't get answered, I know some of them are very specific. Give us a call. You have the phone number in front of you. There's also one more webinar going on at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the same subject. I want to thank you folks for signing off today. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you.